Okay guys, I'm actually super excited to be bringing you this video today. It's going to be about how you can get in shape while saving time as a professional. So I know there's a lot of you out there who are super busy. You know, you may be seeing all this information online that's quite overwhelming. And it just seems like you have to spend so much time and it has to be such a dedication to get into amazing shape. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can actually do it quite easily with just three hours each week which, you know, that might sound too good to be true, but just stay till the video, listen to what I have to say, and you'll understand how I'm doing this and how you can do it as well. I'm really excited to share this with you guys today. So the first thing you have to understand is that this modern day advice is BS. I mean, some of it can be okay, sure, but the advice you're getting is from bodybuilders and you don't have the time that these guys do. This is our full-time job to get into amazing shape and they're on steroids, and you probably don't even want to look like them in the first place, right? I personally don't. I prefer prefer more of that lean, you know, aesthetic tapered look, and I'm sure that's what you're after as well. But the point I'm trying to make is that you don't want to be taking advice from these guys when you don't want to look like them, number one. Number two, you're not on steroids. Number three, you don't have the time of day to be putting in two hours every day on your fitness. And tracking every gram of rice and weighing out all of your food and sticking to this super strict diet you need a plan that's going to fit into your social life while you can still spend eight to ten hours a day working at your job or working on your business so i'm going to teach you guys how to do that as well we're trying to be like james bond right we're trying to be the professional we have other stuff to do our whole life doesn't revolve around growing our muscles we want to look amazing and we want to be amazing so we're trying to be like james bond and get that you know chiseled look that's what we're after we're not trying to look like a bodybuilder we want to look lean and chiseled and just sick okay so as i was saying you don't need to go to the gym like these guys are telling you six days a week for two hours it's just not necessary it's so much volume and you can have amazing growth while just going to the gym three two to four days a week i mean it's pretty remarkable that you know a lot of people aren't even talking about this but yes, you can get results putting in just two to four days a week. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. And it is possible. I'm not just telling you guys this for no reason. I've tried it out for myself and I've seen pretty great results. I actually used to train six days a week. Actually, no, no, seven days a week. I used to train seven days a week. I used to follow all the traditional advice, doing push-pull legs. And it worked a little bit at first, but I got to a point where I hit a plateau I was spending hours and hours in the gym, not seeing any progress. I was tracking all of my weight, all my food, all the time. And it wasn't really benefiting me. It was taking so much energy out of me. And I decided to switch over to what I'm doing now, which I'll talk about later in this video. And I have so much more energy. I have so much more time to dedicate to my business. And on top of that, I'm actually seeing better results in my physique. I've gotten stronger and I've put it on, I've put on more muscle in my upper chest and my shoulders as well as my lats that have given me that more you know aesthetic v taper look so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this and no all this stuff is not necessary you don't need to track every gram of rice okay this is my physique just so you guys know what I, that what i'm saying is true i spend three hours a week in the gym i don't track calories and i've had a six pack for the last two three years of my life without really having to work insanely hard to get it all right and you can do this. I'm going to show you guys how. So let's start with the diet. Okay. The first thing you need to do is you need to develop an eye for calories. And typically what I recommend my clients to do for this is you track your calories for about a week until you can develop an eye form. So let's say you need to eat 2,500 calories to be at your maintenance and you don't want to track them. Okay. Well, the first step you need to take is knowing how many calories 2,500 is and you're probably gonna to have to track it for a week or so you can so you can develop an eye for that. And once you develop an eye for it, then you don't really have to track your calories every day because you can kind of have a rough estimate of if you're hitting your calorie intake or not. And you can also couple with couple this strategy with the scale and seeing if you're going up or down in weight. If you're trying to lose weight and you think you're eating 2,500 calories and that's your maintenance and you're gaining weight, then you say, okay, well, I need to probably cut my calorie intake down by two, 300 calories. And because you've already tracked your calories, you know how much, you know, less food you need to be eating. 
you can incorporate that in and then start losing weight again. It's really that simple. You just have to get an eye for it at first. Okay, so the next strategy is when you're at home, and I know you guys are professional, so you might be traveling a lot. I travel a lot too, going back home to see my girlfriend, to see my parents, things like that. I'm traveling all the time too. But when you're home, if you can get a few staple meals, this is going to really help you develop that eye for your calories as well as just create a simple diet that's really easy for you to follow. So you do this by just picking a few foods or a few meals that are really easy for you to make and that you can stick to weekly. So I'll give you two examples. I like to eat eggs when I break my fast, six eggs with hot sauce. It just, you know, eggs are really easy to make, it takes 10 minutes and I can do it every day. I also enjoy eating them. And then the other meal I like to eat is a yogurt bowl with fruit, honey, and peanut butter. And this is just some easy calories. You know, it takes two minutes to eat. You don't even have to cook anything. So get some staple meals and identify how many calories are in them so you can start developing, you know, that eye for, for your calories and start losing weight. Next is intermittent fasting. So the reason I put traveling here is because, you know, you're not going to be home all the time. You're going to be traveling and you're going to, you, you might be wondering, okay, how am I going to fit this diet into my social life? Because this is a problem a lot of people struggle with is they get prescribed meal plans by these fitness coaches or by you know Noom or some company like that. And sure, you can stick to them for one or two months, but if you start traveling or if you're going out, and it never fits into your social life. That's why you need to create a meal plan that's so easy and simple to follow where it doesn't even feel like a meal plan. It's perfectly integrated into your life. And a super easy step you can take to do this is by intermittent fasting. So this essentially means is you only eat for a certain window of the day. And I think the easiest way to get started with this is by starting your fast, you know, not breaking your fast until later in the day. And to start this, let's say you wake up at 6 a.m. and normally you eat breakfast at 7 a.m. Start by pushing that breakfast back as far as you can go. So maybe the next day you, you don't eat till 10 a.m. and then you switch to, you know, 12 or 1. And then I want you to get to the point where you don't have to eat until 2 p.m. And this allows for so many benefits. You're going to be fasting for an extended period of the day every day. So you're going to be able to burn fat. And an additional benefit of this, which I found, is it saves you so much time. And you can do this while you're traveling, right? You can not eat anywhere in the entire world because you don't need food. You don't need to cook. It saves you so much time. It allows you to burn off fat and you have increased productivity when you're fasted. Your mind is so much more clear because you're not digesting. There's so many benefits to intermittent fasting. I highly recommend it and it's something you can stick to when you're traveling, when you're working a bunch. So do that, do these three things together and your diet will be locked in. Now on top of this to help lose fat, pick an easy cardio for you that you can do at least five times a week. And when I say easy, I mean really easy. Something you can stick to which it isn't even a pain for you. What I like doing is just walking. It's super easy. I have a dog as well, and I like to walk him after every time I eat. This way, my body can start digesting. I can start you know, burning off a little bit of fat and getting leaner and leaner. So pick a cardio that's really easy for you. I recommend just when you're starting out, just do walking. I mean, this is what I do. Walk for 10, 15 minutes after every meal. It's really gonna make a difference in how lean you are and you know, getting you pretty shredded. So that's everything as far as diet goes. That's how you can get into amazing shape without spending a lot of time actually saving time. Now you might be wondering, okay, but what routine do I do which only requires three hours a week? Well, what I do is I lift three times a week and I do one hour sessions. And this might seem like minimal volume, but as I was saying earlier in the video, I've seen better results with this. I was doing push pull legs. I was training seven days a week. And I wasn't breaking through my plateaus. My muscles were so fatigued and it was taking too much time out of my day. So I switched to doing this, just simply lift three times a week and do one hour sessions. It's not that hard. It's something you can stick to even if you're traveling and working a bunch. It's just one hour out of your day, three times a week. Anybody can do this. I believe truly, no matter how busy you are, you can make time for this in your schedule and it can lead to some pretty amazing results. So how can you do this in such a short period of time? Well, the first thing is don't train full body. When I tell people to train three times a week, they're like, oh, okay, so full body workouts. No, you don't have to train full body. You can have a day for chest and arms, a day for legs, and 
neck and traps, and then a day for shoulders and back. It could be any combination of these things. I recommend you tailor it to your specific needs and your lacking muscle groups. Tailor it around that and tailor it around these key lifts, which are really gonna help build that aesthetic look, which I'll talk about in a second. So you need to focus ruthlessly on getting stronger with these key lifts. So I'm going to show you guys some key lifts and your whole focus of your routine needs to be on ruthlessly getting stronger with these lifts. So you might be wondering, what are these lifts? Well, here they are. Here are the key lifts for looking aesthetic to building that you know, chiseled movie star look, getting the right proportions, building that aesthetic physique. Here's the lifts you wanna focus on, okay? First one is the pull-up, super great for growing the back. And these can be difficult at first if you're just starting out. So you might wanna do an assisted pull-up that way you can get started. And then as you get more advanced, move on to a weighted pull-up, so which is what I do. From there, shoulder press is gonna help grow the shoulders. Same with incline dumbbell press. What we're really trying to do here is load up on these frontal areas right here, the, the upper chest, the shoulders, the lats. This is gonna give you that um, V taper, which creates the most attractive aesthetic physique. And for legs, you just wanna focus on two exercises for growing them. This is the RDLs. It's really gonna help grow your glutes and your hamstrings and the Bulgarian split squats, which will grow your quads. So if you can focus on these five lifts and getting really strong with them, however you need to lay it out in your routine, if you can focus on them and get strong with them, you're going to put on the muscle, you're gonna pack it on in the right places, and you're gonna build an aesthetic look. So that is how you can do that easily. That's how you can easily you know, get into amazing shape with minimal effort. And I say easily because I do believe anybody can do it. It's just about having the right information and taking action. That's why I made this video for you guys who are busy. So you have been misled in the same way I was. Right? You've been misled in the same way I was. I was misled too. I thought I had to be spending 14 hours a week in the gym. I thought I had to track every gram of rice. But using this technique, I've seen better results in less time. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it. But if you stick to these things that I talked about in this video, you can see amazing results. And I truly believe that anybody can see you know, pretty great results in such a little amount of time sticking to the things I talked about in this video. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. I don't wanna waste your guys' time. I just wanted to get straight to the point, lay out for you guys how you can actually make progress in three days a week and without tracking your calories. You can truly make amazing progress. If you found this video valuable, maybe leave a comment if you want me to make a video about something else. You can like this video and I also have a free community on school. It's a new platform that's blowing up. I have almost 600 guys in there helping professionals get into amazing shape easily. So if you think that's something you'd be interested in, hit the link below. Uh, it's completely free. I'm in there all the time helping guys out. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in, go ahead and you can check that out. And yeah, that's it for this, guys, for this video, guys. Take care. Good luck with everything and peace out.